What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I'd like to talk about the naturalist role and ways that you can earn money with the role. Yesterday I finally hit level 20 and I could kind of start focusing on just earning money with the role and see if there was a lot of different ways that you could earn money. I found two ways that work really well for me. I'm sure there's some other good ways out there, but these two work really well for me personally. The first thing I want to kind of give you a tip on uh, when it comes to earning money with a naturalist role is be sure that you have your valuable bag upgraded. The valuable bag comes with the collector role, and I think it's like 15 or 16 that you unlock this, but that valuable bag will allow you to hold five more animal samples, you know, or per animal. I did not realize this was a thing because my collector role was already completed, but I saw a lot of people asking the question, why can some people hold 10 samples and some people can only hold five samples in their bag? And it has to do with that valuable bag from the collector role. So if you have that valuable bag upgraded with the collector role, you're able to hold 10 animal samples per animal. So that's just kind of a quick tip. And plus that will help out with both of these money making methods that I'm going to kind of talk about. The first one, of course, is selling sample sets. If you do not know how to make a sample set, I made a video about that a few days ago. I'll pop it up in the top corner right now. Of course, legendary sets go for a lot. We all know that farming legendary animals right now is a pain. Harriet only gives you so many legendary animals to go after in the missions. So you really can't complete a legendary set quickly. I mean, in theory, that would be the best way to earn money with this role is just farming legendary animals. But sadly, it's hard to find them all. So it's going to take a long, long time. So the best two sets that you can sell in game are going to be the Mountain and Grassland set, which trade in for $140, and the Forest and River set, which trades in for $160. Another tip when you're farming sets, if you're going to go just the set route, if this is what you're going to do, you're just going to farm sets for your money, make sure you do not sell the duplicates to Harriet. She only needs one animal sample per animal for that set to be complete. So for example, if you go out and you kill two white-tailed deer, there's only a need to give her one sample. Do not sell her the duplicate. That way, once you've completed that set and you've traded it in, you can go back to Harriet and then give her you know, your ones you had extras of. So if you have three or four white-tailed bucks and your white-tailed deer, there is no need to sell her but one of them per, you know, per time that you're going to make a set. So make sure you're not selling duplicates. I did this myself. I realized it was a huge mistake. And if you have a lot of, you know, duplicates of these animals while you're out farming these sets, it makes the next set, once you've created one set in, it makes the next, next set a lot quicker to do a lot faster because you already have some of these samples in your bag. So do not sell duplicates to Harriet. Uh, the other way, and this is the way that I have found that's been working very well for me, and that is farming particular animals. You know, kind of like when it comes to hides, there's hides in game that go for more of a price than others. It's the same with samples. She will give you more money for certain samples. I found everything in game so far that, I, that it's more than three bucks, and these seem to work the best for me. So the Rocky Mountain Bull Elk and the Rocky Mountain Cow Elk, the sample sells for $4.90. The White Tail Buck goes for $3. The American Bison goes for $3.60. The American Black Bear goes for $3.65. The Western Moose goes for $5.50, and the Grizzly Bear goes for $5.85. Anytime you do a mission for Harriet for a legendary animal, those samples sell for $50.60. So what I've been doing is going out, doing a legendary mission for Harriet, getting that $50 or $60 sample, bringing it back to her, then going out to an area where I know there's a lot of these particular animals I just listed. So let's go Rocky Mountain Bull Elk and Rocky Mountain Cow Elk, for example. You can find a lot of these in game. Right now the animal spawns are really good. You can find sometimes four and five of these in a group together. If you sedate all these, take a sample from each one of them, you're looking at if you have a total of 10, of course that's going to be $49 for the bull elk and $49 for the cow elk. That's a quick 100 bucks. So that is what I have been doing. I've been kind of searching for particular animals and farming those until I get 10 samples of each and then go selling them to Harriet. And my rough estimate, in around an hour I did this and made $210, which is not awful. Now, this is pretty much, you know, of course, if you just want to do it the naturalist way. If you want to go out and farm and hunt and sell stuff to Gus, you can make a lot of money that way as well. But if you're wanting to make money with the naturalist role, these two ways are the best. So, like I said, selling sample sets or going out and farming those particular animals that I just listed off because those samples will sell for the most. And you can make a pretty good amount of money doing either one of these methods. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. 
uh, be sure to give the community discord a look and uh, if you want to follow me on twitter all that stuff is linked down in the description along with gt racing who is the affiliate here on the channel i'll catch you guys next time peace